stop. Welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ammon and I am a driving instructor. And today we have an experienced driver, Max, with us. Hi, guys. <laughs> now, Max, how long have you been driving? About nearly four years. Nearly four years? Yeah. But you've only recently purchased your first car. I recently, yep, yep, that's right. And now you're starting to drive around London on your own. Exactly. How's yes. that been? It's been interesting. It's been interesting. There's a few things that I'm still learning, but that's part of the process. Okay, and you have been driving manual these years. Yes, I ha I know I passed my test driving with manual. Okay. And I have driven manuals, yeah. So let's see if an experienced driver would let's pass see. again. <laughs> okay, um, do you know how this test is going to be conducted? Hopefully yes, but you can go through it again. Okay, so throughout today's drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Whenever mm -hmm. I need you to turn, I'm going to tell you in plenty of time. If I'm not saying anything, you're just going straight. Okay. If you're not sure where you're going, you can simply ask. But it's just ahead, unless road signs specify otherwise. Okay? Right. All right. Um, drive's going to be about 38 to 40 minutes. One maneuver, possibly the emergency stop, similar to everything you've done previously. Yeah. Hopefully not the emergency stop, like day to day but you know yep so before we get started a quick question about your vehicle now and then one whilst you're driving okay okay so for your tell me question could you tell me how would you check that your brakes are working in your vehicle by stepping on the brake um and if the car stops or look at the lights that come on and okay. if you're driving then I guess that's how you can is, tell is there a certain are... way like how does the brake feel when you know it's working um feels firm Okay. All right. Sweet. All right, we're ready to go. So whenever you're ready, you can start the engine. We're going to get going. Uh, for anyone that's new to watching these videos, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and I'm going to leave Max's socials down in the description. He does a lot of car-related content. You can there. Uh, Poof talks cars. There. It's all classic cars, supercars. Exactly what I review. Interesting and quirky cars. So if you want to learn more about certain kinds of cars, then that's If you me. want to check out his car, he's recently <laughs> put out a video for that. So check it out. It's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> I Sweet. like the whole cassette player thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and six, six cassette holders. Does this have a cassette holder? No? Okay. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. All right. We're ready. Perfect. <clears throat> so. We're gonna make our way down this road and I'll tell you when I need you to turn. Fine. Good luck. Sweet, thank you. Okay. Um, parking brake off. Good, job. you can just press okay to get rid of that change. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Ready? Yes. God, it's been a while. Uh, parking brake off, okay. Nothing. Oh my, that was the cruise control. Oops. It's not on, don't worry. Oh, okay. oh now, now you've turned it on. <laughs> just, turn, yeah. just press the button on the end of it to turn it off. Okay. Okay, Max, if you could just pull in and park up just behind that black car. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion, but just leave about the car's length in front. That's great there, thank you. Sweet. And drive off when you're ready. It's a very light transmission. And the like steering it. feels so light it's compared to right from here. Oh, in your car, I can yeah, imagine it's, it's so really heavy. heavy. In 
a lot of the UK driving tests, I see a lot of people use the handbrake a lot. Yeah, previously it was taught that if you're going to be stopping for more than five seconds, you want really? to turn the handbrake on. But, it um, seems like so many steps. Yeah, I don't feel like it's necessary as long as your car is secured, you're not rolling. Right. Uh, but recently, it, it's not something that's taught like that. As in, some people still say it. Right, to use yeah. It all the time, but it's I a lot. I yeah. just put my feet on the brake, and you just. But wait. with that, but with that, it's the whole keeping your brake lights on throughout. Yeah. So at night time, you wouldn't want to be doing that. Okay. <laughs> or in like sandstorm traffic. Right. Interesting. Be quite dazzling. Yeah. I think with the older cars, I'd call it a handbrake. Yeah, I've got the same thing, so. Mm. Wait, is the handbrake on the side? I have it on the on the oh, side, okay, yeah. but Yours you press it in. Yeah. You you press it with your feet. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, like a foot brake. Yeah. And then when you release it, you pull it out. Yeah. And then it's released. See that? I'd call it a hardened brake. Okay. Be a Okay, now at the end of this road, I'd like you to turn right Okay. Ooh, can't see anything. Okay, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing. Okay, we're going. speed at which he was approaching. Yeah, so we're just gonna... Do you indicate for this? Because I feel like if you're going into another lane, you indicate. I usually do. I don't know. But if you look at this road, you'll be indicating throughout. Yeah, that's the thing. It'll be a bit confusing as to yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> It just wafts everywhere and it takes like five business days to, I can to, to turn. What's the engine on that for? It's a 4.4 liter V8. There you go, it's all this. <laughs> it's really heavy. Yeah. These are horrible roads. It's not the best road. We're currently driving on a 30 miles per hour road and we can see this with the intermittent street lighting along this road. Ahead of us is a double bend towards the left hand side and Max starts to steer a bit too early into this turn which causes the back tyre to follow the pavement too closely. If he continues to do this the back tyre may hit the pavement as we're making these turns. So he needs to steer slightly later just to give the back tyre some space as he follows around these tight corners. whether your car would have picked up in that, never. <laughs> it's just learning the positions, because all cars have different um, positions. Sometimes it's a little bit easier, the gears, and yeah. sometimes it's a lot more <clears throat> difficult. And sometimes they're just really vague and you don't know exactly where everything is. Well, I feel like with the with newer cars, generally, the gear lever is a lot lighter. Yeah. And it springs a lot better. Uh -huh. The transition is just so Sometimes... Smooth. On certain cars, for example, Porsches, you always know where you're putting your um, shifter into. Okay, if you could pull in and park up on the left-hand side of the road, please, somewhere along here. Can I drive up on the curb? No, just on the road is fine. Thank you. And drive up when you're ready. Road turn left, please. Okay. 
every time we're approaching a junction to stop, Max starts with the brake, puts the clutch down and puts the car into neutral. Now this is technically coasting, but as long as you're controlling the speed of the vehicle and you're braking, this is not a fault. to put the car in neutral as you're braking or in first gear because I was taught to put the car in neutral and braking and then shift it into first and then feel the braking point um, I, I don't use uh, engine brake in first gear if that's what you're asking no. okay. I wouldn't get them to go into first and bring the clutch up As you can see, Max actually came off the roundabout in the overtaking lane, which was the middle lane. He continued to make progress in that lane as the vehicle on the left was actually traveling slower. When it was safe, he then switched back into the left-hand lane. So you don't always need to switch back to the left straight away, and Max demonstrates this really confidently. And we're going to be taking this exit just coming off here. This particular slip road is quite a short slip road and the turn does come in quite suddenly. So when you notice the slip road is like this, be sure to watch your speed as you're slowing down as it's really easy to approach too fast as you may think you've slowed down enough, but you may actually be too fast. left turns Max was not checking his left mirror before signaling or before turning but it doesn't get marked as a minor fault as he is checking what's behind and also as we're not actually doing a lane change. Do you find 
find it difficult from driving in Spain and then driving in the UK? Um, do I? I don't know. It might be a little bit more difficult in a in a manual car, but I mean, swapping over from no, no, you get used to it really quickly. So for me, it wasn't that much of an issue because you just get used to it really quickly. And I've lived here for about four years, so mm. you get used to it. Um, but it's just the roads, you know. There's not a single well, now we're on a straight road, but if you look at the map, like a bird's eye view of London from above, nothing is straight. Everything has a curve and they just mm -hmm. cannot build a straight line. <laughs> so, and you, you need to let cars pass and the roads are not big enough and you need to wait for, for things to go and then you can go and yeah, it's just interesting road designs and that roundabout that didn't really look like a roundabout and roundabouts with traffic lights. So do you not have any roundabouts with traffic lights there? You do, but only on huge ones. With like six lanes, there's there's a roundabout in Madrid, which is probably like five, six lanes. Um, and that roundabout is massive, but that one is traffic lights. But traffic lights aren't really a thing on roundabouts because everything's supposed to be just be free flowing because it's a roundabout. So if there's nothing, then you go. Um, mm. And cars on the outer lane have preference. Okay, one second, we'll get back to that. We're on about turn right third exit. Turn right third exit, okay. That's a nice frame driver. Turn right third exit. Indicator. Yeah, no, so in Spain, if you're on a roundabout, the outer lane is preference. So you can keep staying within the roundabout, and if a car hits you from the inner lane trying to get out, then they're at fault. That makes sense, but is the car on the outside lane allowed to just keep going yes. around? That makes yes. no sense. Um, so for example... So I could start purposely in the outside lane and just go around exactly, and make yeah. a left. You just keep putting your indicator. That, that's, no, I don't like that rule. That, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, that's how it works. And you prefer that? I do, because it makes it a little bit easier because then you don't need to choose which lane you want to go into and everything. <laughs> um, so is it a here, lot of the times that they just have like a single lane on the roundabout? Uh, two lanes. Two lanes. For really small things, a single lane is fine. But it's usually two lanes, so if you want to go left, I usually take um, I usually take the outside lane, put the on right, my indicator to go right left, um, so take, take and take the, right the outside oh, take the like take that. the outside lane to go left, and that's why you always need to watch out for the cars. Um, which way are we going? Turning right. Right. Okay. And that's why you always watch out for the cars in the inner lane, because they could come out. I could have gone. <clears throat> okay, you're going. Oops. Not my fault. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> okay. I would have usually honked. But we move on. Um, I but think he knew you were there. He just, he was trying to risk it. I think I was going <laughs> to come out. Um, but yeah, you usually take the outside lane. You put on your indicator so the people in the inside lane knows that you're going to continue going in the roundabout. That sounds like madness. No, to it's me. not. It's really good. I get it, but it I sounds love like it. madness. If you have loads of traffic and everyone's just going to keep. Well, going then you there. you can also be on the inside lane as well, but out. then you can like slowly start drifting towards the outside lane in order to take the exit that you want, or you just go around again. Which a lot of people don't do. I feel like, guys, you are in a roundabout. You can go around again. You do not have to rush for your exit yeah. and, and skip three lanes of traffic. It's a roundabout. You can go around again. That's it. That's definitely true here as well. <laughs> I know. Everywhere. That's interesting. I can let off the clutch and the car already starts going. Sometimes you need to give a little bit of acceleration. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'd like you to reverse into a space of your choice, left or right. Just make sure you finish within the white lines of the bay.
Thank you. And let's drive off when you're ready. And let's go left. So the reason why the car moved like that is firstly diesel car. Right, okay, I've already started from petrols. So you've got the talk, it just moves. Uh, secondly, new cars tend to auto rev, which is also what this car's doing. So as you're lifting the clutch, you'll hear the revs go up. Yeah. Even, though you're not doing anything with the accelerator. Okay. Never, okay. Never driven a diesel manual car before. right at the end. how you would wash the rear windscreen. to move off. That'll be great there, thank you. Alright Max, we're coming up to the last exercise for you. Okay. So I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. Okay. When it's safe, I'm going to look around and I'm going to give you this signal, stop. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible, but wait for my signal before you stop the vehicle. Okay? Okay. Alright, so whenever you're ready, let's drive off. Turned in behind us, so we won't do it right Pull here. No, okay, no, no, just, just drive normally. We'll make a left here instead. And then just drive normally again, okay? Yeah. Alright, so we're still doing the emergency stop. Just wait for my signal. So overall, how was your drive? I think it was fine. I think I did a good job. I think the emergency stop was sturdy. I was happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I messed up on the gears once because I put it in fourth instead of second. Yeah. Um, but besides that, I think I think I did good observations. All right. If it was a test, are you giving yourself a pass or a fail? I passed. Oh, really? Yeah, right at the end as well. What happened? Let's talk about that emergency stop. Was it not good? Oh, we did stopped. I not look? 
Oh my gosh. So what I knew it. You know, as soon as I drove off, I knew that I I was like, oh, I should have looked. I should have looked. <laughs> That's what it was. Was that really what filled it? Yeah. Oh, tragic. Okay, but besides all besides that, yeah. did I pass? Besides that, it would have been Okay, passed. you see? Um... I'm a good driver. I just didn't look. It was a it was a very narrow road and I wasn't expecting anything to come. That's yeah. why I didn't do a a check in the back because I get it, but I know, I know, I know, I know. It's bad, it's bad. Guys, I passed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, besides that, a few minor faults here and there. So, yeah. when moving off from stationary from the side of the road, the first time you didn't check, the yeah. second time, sorry, you didn't check your blind spot at all. Uh -huh. um, this is on the slight bendy road uphill. Um, a bit of um, a habit that you tend to have is. When we're going around left or right bends, yeah. I feel like you cut into the bend, whether it's left or right. Okay. So you're cornering a bit tight. Okay. Um, there was one time where I felt the back tire touch, but because it was a low curb, oh. you didn't feel it. Oh, okay. Otherwise, besides that, I was just thinking, oh, we're really shaving past these corners. Interesting. <laughs> I did that earlier in my car today and I think I popped a tire. I don't know. It was a really loud bang. So Yeah, I was gonna say, because your car pop, is, yeah. Wide. is longer than this, it's so I would long. see you hitting your tire in yeah, your car. Yeah, which I did today. <laughs> this morning, I really hit it and it was a really loud bang. I thought I curbed the entire wheel, I went out to check the wheel. It was fine, yeah. but yeah, I did that this so morning. So that's something to be mindful of. That is something to be mindful of, <laughs> yep. You don't love your roundabouts, especially the roundabouts no, that aren't know. like clearly really labeled, clear circles, and the road marking. Yeah, were, were <laughs> yeah, but um, just you know, on that second to last, I think the last roundabout really, we were taking the Barnet second exit. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. You took that a bit quick, and you you kind of hugged the roundabout on the right, and you know you've just passed the first exit, which means yeah. you should really be on the left. Yes, I know. Yeah, <laughs> because I was uh, because you also mentioned you should be in the right lane, but again, I've but got that, Spain that was... in me, so I would just stay on the left lane and go, and then you you come out. Yeah. Because. But the thing is, that particular roundabout, if we had, because the thing is, on that roundabout, Barnet was after twelve o'clock. Yeah. So we start on the right, but once we enter the <clears> roundabout, <throat> the right lane goes in and it splits to make the two. Okay. But it was all because the road marking was faded. Okay. So it's their fault, not mine. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. No, you know what you're doing. You drive really well. It's just more like the, the little tweaks here and there. But with yeah. your car, I would definitely be really careful with those corners. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Because that's the I'll only thing better. that I was watching out for. You never once, like, hit yeah. it, but I was you never really once, close. It was just it was just really shaven past. And there okay. was like one time where the curb was low, and I was just like, I felt it, but. Can't okay. say it because it's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, okay. Yeah, that's it. Perfect, thank you. I appreciate it. That's all right. So that's the end of your mock test today. What have you learned from today's mock test? To not drive too close, well, to not shave too close to the curb, give a bit more space. Yeah, with the corners. Um, and in central London, there's not that many roundabouts. So, um, <laughs> all but just like, yeah. if I ever come across a roundabout, Go the I'll other just direction. plan it, but again, it's, it's just it's just hard. It's just something you need to get used to because in Spain I don't need to plan because there's no road markings that said this lane goes here, mm. that lane goes there, this lane goes there. So you just think, I want to go there, I'm going to go there, put the indicators on to tell everyone where you're going to go beforehand <laughs> and hopefully people are nice enough to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to struggle when I drive in Spain. You'll be fine. Sounds <laughs> You'll be fine. Because that rule sounds ridiculous to me. Because if you went from the inside to the outside, it would have been really bad for you and you would have been at fault if the car was continuing to go the roundabout. So but all different the car countries. should not be going round the roundabout on the wrong <laughs> lane to go that way, get in the other lane. Oh, no. It is yeah, what it I is. Yeah, I get it, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, do uh, let us know down in the comments uh, what you thought of today's drive and how Max was driving. And be sure to check out his channel and go follow. Thank you. That's it. Go follow him, man. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.